hi everyone and welcome back so what is the next in the ninja developer is uh, how to approach for the testing because uh, if you are a ninja developer uh, doing everything at the advanced level then you should be writing the tests for your components you should be writing the test for your apis so this is just a simple example that how you should approach for the testing so let's say this is a simple express application right this is simple app.js i mean i don't need to write this code you already familiar with how to write a simple express uh, node.js application it's just a simple app here we can write uh, different type of tests so here my focus is on unit tests and integration test e2e or a functional test so for the apis we can think of uh, unit tests where we are testing each and every method which we have written in the express node.js we don't do much on the the unit testing but you can do actually you can write a unit test by mocking the request response and checking the method is returning the right data or not integration tests you can use a super test to actually hit the api and get the response this is like okay you need to connect to the database create a test database connections so hit the actual api and see the the response status code uh, and inside the response object you have a particular property or not all these kind of tests you can write for integration and unit test you will just check for the methods you can mock the, the impl implementation if that is added for the authentication and all sort of things so what we are doing here is we are just trying to understand how we are doing it for the jest so earlier we used to do lots of things like we used to add a mocha chai istanbul nyc but nowadays everything is simplified you can just need express obviously express for the dependencies and just and super test for writing your end-to-end -end tests because you need to make an api call and just is everything either you talk about the testing of the react angular just testing library is more than enough to run the unit tests uh, or testing of the component. Similarly, just we are using here for unit tests and integration tests. Okay, so if you see underscore underscore tests, you can create a folder. Just will look for this default folder and will try to run the tests. You don't need explicit just config file. Otherwise, in projects where you have some custom configurations, you might have seen just config file here my objective is not to talk about just and uh, all the toolings you can use cypress for the functional end-to-end -end testing of the components or the application that is most popular right now now the selenium web driver those are the oldies so you should be doing it with the cypress and just you can do for unit tests and integration tests of your uh, apis and just just testing library you can use to test your components okay because you are a developer and it's not like the responsibility of the queue to test your application you should be writing your tests to validate okay your apis are running perfectly fine returning you the proper status code and you have written the happy path scenario and unhappy path scenarios for your api testing let's say these are my just two routes so in the controller i have these two functions index and the, uh, hello and inside this these are the two routers get and here i'm passing the name so if you see this particular hello function it just returning me the name so what my tests can be okay this when you are hitting this api i should be getting the, the, the name back right here this is what it is calling hello function it is you should be returning you should be getting hello uh my name right or if you're not passing the params then you should be getting hello world so this is a simple test and here by default you should get hello world so these are like you can say simple unit tests can be done like this is the handler here you are passing the name bob so i'm expecting the output to be expect response.txt to be equals to hello bob here this is the the default route where we are testing the index function so it should return hello world so simple unit tests and then we have a, this integration test route where we are actually making api call so here i created the, i already have the app instance you can get it from the same file app.js you can export this app instance so i can use that in the my tests and then app.use i mean you don't need to create the instance here you can just import the app instance there and then using super test so using this super test 
you can pass the app instance to the request and trigger your API calls and then you can just use async await response.header should be content type html response.status code response.text currently in both the routes we are returning the content text html because i'm doing if you see my routes uh, we are returning uh, html content because we are doing response.send similarly we can also do something like okay this is my another fun function say hi which is just sending response dot json and it is returning message and your message name is simple hello world so here i'm saying hello and this is the name right here now it is returning json object you can attach it to the router so this is my routes I can define another route for this so hello and hi name and the function is say hi I need to export that from the default so I'm able to export it and then I will import it here say hi and say hi we can call here this is the handler right to write these tests what you will do is you will go here and you will say okay i'm testing this particular method hello hi and you are passing name so you are trying to hit this hello hi so here content type will be application json We'll try to check if this is the correct one and status code 200 and this should return hello tarun so ta -ta -ta. say hi there is exclamation sign also so we can test this i will just do npm run test and if you are not passing this so here this is what we are passing here you are passing this particular name so it will respond accordingly so we can just do npm run test and let's say if anything is failing we will try to fix it so one failed right why that has failed okay we are expecting this and this is what we are receiving so let's put the hole okay again status code uh, we are getting message okay it's not like response.txt response so here if you see now we are sending the json object response.json right that is the message property so here you can see this is you are expecting and this is you are getting so you can try to do dot message <laughs> response dot message okay so response dot text uh, how should we extract the message property uh, i will just try to see what is there in the response object response dot data let's say i think it's coming in the data property so here if i try to do console.log response.data let's say try to console response then we will try to see what is there in the response object okay it contains headers and So this is coming as a stringified output i just try to log this and this is the text we are getting so we can compare it with this because we need to parse it and then we will get be getting the message object so this is how you can write the tests and you can make them successful and it is also 
creating coverage so there is earlier we used to do istanbul and nyc coverage it is creating this default coverage file i cover report index.html and this is generating coverage you can write a just config also to pass the test command if the coverage is uh, uh, more than 80 percent or something like that okay so that's all about you can just look at into just if you want to learn more like let's say i can just talk about just config so here you can configure just you can write your just configuration for javascript project something like this and here you can define the multiple options okay i mean we use this just config for all the projects like this is the collect coverage from you can create this just config in your root of the project and this is the test directory where you will be putting all your tests otherwise if you are not putting the test there then you can specify okay on what kind of files i should test and here i i created a coverage right so this is in just config and i'm checking the coverage this is the global threshold i should be able to achieve otherwise i just uh, fail the tests just command so you can see these are the the coverage threshold which i should match otherwise it will just say okay your tests are failing just check and try to get the coverage accordingly okay we write tests for apis for the react components and all let's see this just config in the next video where we are going to write the react so how we can do the testing for the react app and this is how we are generating the coverage right everything is 100 percent so we are good so this is all about uh, basic testing uh, unit testing and integration testing i mean you might be writing uh, lots of apis and already doing it but this is how you should approach you can create a proper test folders proper structuring of each and every api sets happy path and happy path and all and uh, unit tests also you can write for the node.js controllers because there also you are writing utility classes methods and all all these you can test using just so i mean as a ninja developer you should already know how to use jest because jest is universal testing library right now you don't need to work or deal with any other library super test is just an exception here because this is the library we need to make an actual api call by passing the app instance of the express app otherwise jest is capable enough to do anything in in testing so unit testing integration test testing and cypress you can explore for the functional testing don't uh, worry about this example this example i'm just using just for demo because i need something to talk about i can't talk theoretically right otherwise i'm doing a testing for the nestgs applications in the advanced nestgs course and uh, wherever i'm doing some application i will be focusing on i'm focused on writing the tests also and explaining them